Oh. This weekend gamble. There we go. Hello, friends. Jay Todd here in front of Bally's on the Vegas Strip. And here's what's happening this week in gambling. Hello, friends. I hope you all enjoyed your Super Bowl weekend, and congratulations to the Los Angeles Rams on their victory. The times, they are a changing in Las Vegas as old familiar faces on the Strip are set to be gone, including Bally's, the Tropicana, the Mirage, and maybe even the Venetian and Palazzo. But... This week's big story is actually about old familiar faces returning to the Las Vegas Strip, namely yours, as the governor of Nevada has dropped the mandatory face mask requirements for indoor establishments in his state, including casinos, but... The final decision about face masks in casinos is actually up to the Nevada Gaming Control Board, not the governor. However, in this particular case, the board has elected to support the governor's decision to drop the face mask mandate. But... The board also said that any local jurisdiction within the state, like cities and counties, is still free to set their own face mask requirements. And let's not forget that casinos are private property, so the owners or management could still require you to mask up while you're there. Now, whether or not you patronize that property is entirely your decision. No more buts. Now, with all this talk about casinos leaving Las Vegas, some of you may be wondering, is Bally's Casino really going away? And the answer is yes, Bally's Casino is leaving Las Vegas. Probably. Or definitely. Sort of. It's kind of, but maybe forever and maybe not. It's kind of convoluted. And like any good long-term relationship, it's complicated. You may recall that Caesar sold Bally's Bracken... No. You may recall that Caesar sold Bally's brand Bracken... Mm, Bally's band back. Bally's brand. Bally's brand. Bally's brand back. You may recall that Caesar sold Bally's band back in... Mm, shit. Caesar sold the Bally's brand back in 2020. Yeah. I think I got it right. And now they are completely redesigning the casino and changing the name from Bally's to the Horseshoe Las Vegas. Of course, poker players will immediately recognize the historic significance of the Horseshoe brand. And this move comes as Caesars is bringing the World Series of Poker back to the Las Vegas Strip this summer to be played at the legendary Horseshoe. And what about the Tropicana? Well, the same group that purchased the Bally's brand from Caesars also purchased the Tropicana, and they say that at a minimum, at a minimum, they're going to rebrand the casino, possibly as Bally's. And wouldn't that be weird? Of course, they are also considering just demolishing the whole damn thing and building a whole new casino on the site, which would be awesome, except, of course, for having to relocate the large population of rats that now call the Tropicana home. Plus, you may have heard that the Mirage Casino was sold to the Hard Rock just before Christmas. And yes, the plan is to rebrand that property as the Hard Rock and put up that great big guitar logo of theirs right smack in the middle of the Las Vegas Strip. And let's not forget that the Sands Corporation sold both the Venetian and the Palazzo to investment companies just last year, a sale that was finally approved just the other day by the Nevada Gaming Control Board. However, at this time, there are no rumors of any plans to tear anything down or rename any casinos. 
So yes, a lot of new faces are headed for the Vegas Strip, maybe even yours. And if all the new casino names have you confused, just remember, now I have to go back to Las Vegas and film all these new properties. <sighs> the struggles I must endure for this job. This week's exclusive promotion is for Unique Casino. Right now, Casino City has specials to play at the Unique Casino and other online sites. Visit online.casinocity.com for details. This week, I have another new video to share with you as I was both happy and humbled to be interviewed by YouTube creator Simon Cleath for his It's a Slot Machine channel. I shared some of my opinions about land-based and online gambling and the future of our industry based on my 20 plus years in this business. You can find that video on our YouTube channel and on It's a Slot Machine's channel. You know, uh, just noticing, you, you kind of look like my third wife. How many times have you been married? Twice. What does that make me then? <laughs> A guy's got to try, right? You got the time? We got the beer.